What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Darkness Falls back here with another Hunkai Star Roll video here, man. So, yeah, man, we're less than 24 hours away on getting your boy Dr. Ratio. So, yeah, man, I wanted to just make a video on him. I haven't made one in a while since we you know we talked about him coming to the game for free. And, yeah, man, um, you know, I just want to touch on his character. So, I know there are a lot of people like myself who I went over who are F2P, who also did not summon for Embarbara Lune. Who are lacking in the imaginary group now i know a lot of people who are struggling with fighting imaginary enemies and this guy is going to make your life a lot easier now me i've gotten some leeway because as you guys know i did get to 300 point on the standard banner just using tickets then i just finished the rest out with little gems that i had but um i got to like two, 260 270 and i did the rest you know and spent out but yeah man um and I got wealth. So, yeah, man, this guy's going to help a lot of people who don't have any imaginary characters like myself at the time. I was just using Yukong for imaginary for a long time until I got wealth. But still in certain content, wealth is not the greatest character. And I think this guy will work better than wealth in a lot of situations. So, like I said, unless you have Imbiber the Lune, I mean, it's a difference. So, Imbiber the Lune, of course, he's just very, very strong. Dr. Risho is not going to eclipse him or anything, but like I said, he will work better than Welt, especially for killing a lot of people in like MOC, because you guys know that is, um, you know, time gated. You know, you got all those turns. Well, he's very good at, you know, trapping the enemy, slowing them down so that they, they don't have a turn. I think that is relevant to, you know, content that is not time gated. So, here we are. So yeah, man. People think because he's free, is he's good? Is he not good? No, he's very good. There are a bunch of other videos you can watch and follow up, but I just want to go over this unit. So they did release the Keeping Up with Star Rail um, video here. Now I have it muted because it's a whole bunch of stuff that we already know, but we're just gonna go over Dr. Ratio, man, so you can know how to build this guy, and you know, hopefully he will help your account. Like I said, if you have him by the Lune. You know, maybe he doesn't help, help your account out that much, but I'm pretty sure you can use him in some mono um, imaginary teams. So, of course, you know, we see we see we have the basic attack there. And then we have yeah, that's it. And then, of course, we have the skill. To intellectual uh, midwifery. So I think that's a cool looking attack. And I think his eyes is pretty cool, man. But yeah, man, he's a uh, cool gent. Then you got that there. So, of course, when that happens, when they have those debuffs, you see the enemy got slowed there. But here's the uh, follow-up attack. So, when you're using him with other team members, that will happen. So, it says, if the target of this skill is already defeated, when his talent is triggered, the follow attack from his talent will act against a single uh, random enemy. So, he's going to be you know, hitting people with that. So just keep that in mind, man, that this guy has you know, all these different things going on in his kit. And I'm not going to go too much over those, but I just wanted to show that in a video. But here you see we have him, his traces as well. So when we look at this here, see that down there? Then look at all these debuffs. That the ratio is going to work off these uh, debuffs. And that's what's going to make him better now one of his greatest partner is none other going to be uh topaz even though both of them are hunt characters and both of them are uh follow-ups they can function pretty well uh you know following up each other attacking so as you can see man uh he's gonna be happy to see these probabilities those 60s when you hit that he has a 60 percent chance of doing a follow-up attack on that enemy so this is his uh you know, skill when he's out, you know, outside of battle. And they just untag it. That's okay. I don't really care about that. I know he gets some type of thing when he do that on the enemy. I don't really care too much for it. So they're just going to explain what it was. You see he already has the 60% chance up there. And he's slow. So that's what the little statue thing does. It slowed them down. 
So yeah, man, that's going to be great. But we do have it's the follow up. But we're going to come out of here. We do have the juicy stuff here. You feel me? Pride one. So this is the bills you're going to go with. Now they're saying that the uh, Wastelander or Bantry is the best set for him because you do want a lot of people. Uh, you, you do want your enemies with a lot of debuffs. And as you can see on the four piece set, when attacking debuff enemies, the wearer's crit rate increases by 10% and their crit damage increases by 20%. Um, against imprisoned enemies, so I would say, um, you know, if you're using Palo, you're using Silver Wolf, some people to put debuffs on him, he's always going to have this uptime. Now, he do has a uh, crit rate, no crit damage in his kit, defense, and something else where, uh, you know, he's going to have some decent modifiers. Now, if you want to do a two piece, two piece, uh, Ash Granding Duke and two piece, uh, Wastelander, you know, that could benefit you if you don't have a full four piece wastelander of banditry now here normally i know they say they got the glamoth up here but the number one is up here if, if you can meet the requirements but mainly people are going to be using um you know inert so soto because of as you can see uh, the second part you know where he's going to get some crit but when you get that 50 percent you know he will get this extra follow-up damage so a lot of people are going to be using with so soto now if you got like a stack account you got some stack you know characters for him to meet these requirements you can be running the glamoth but yeah man dr ratio is going to help you a lot you know against you know those particular set of enemies now of course these are just other modifiers not going to bore y'all with those but here you see the body create rate create damage we do have the feet at speed planner sets you do want attack percentage and uh imaginary damage and of course for the link rope uh, you do want uh, attack percent. So, yeah, man, good balance. He's not that you know hard to build. You just want to have a good uh, ratio of crit damage and crit rate and the attack, you know, substats. So, yeah, man, light cones. So, you guys already know we're getting the character for free. So, he will be E0 at the time. So, as you know, his uh, light cone, signature light cone is the best one for him. Second underneath that will be Topaz's light cone. Then we have the free to play light cone cruising, cruising in the stellar sea. You guys know you can get that from Simulator Universe. And then, of course, we have Only Silence Remains. That one's the S5, but you know, you can probably use some, um, you know, lower ones if you have it. Uh, there's Sela's light cone, it's not really the best on him, but if you don't have the other light cones, it is what it is. Turn of the darkness if you really got to go down there then subscribe for more if you really got to go down there so like for me someone who uh, who's ftp i have to swap my cruising stellacy from my sila and my uh topaz a lot if they're not on the same you know thing that i'm doing you know if it's moc or something like that but if i'm got to use both of them i use only the silence remains of my topaz so i can see depending on your account you may or may not have these other light cones you may have to switch them out, but if you have to use a four star like home, I would say use the best one that, you know, fits your account. But yeah, man, as you see his synergy, like I told you guys, Topaz is, you know, one of his main girls there because he's not, you know, crazy skill point hungry. And of course, she will be doing a lot of follow -up damage. So like I said, Pela and Silver Wolf for, you know, the debuffing, of course, Bronya and Tinyu and um, your girl here, uh, Ruan May are just you know universal supports of course continue for synergy and giving energy brian for buffing everybody attack of course buffing the team attack and then of course run may also buffing the entire team's um you know break efficiency and also damage so yeah man i have all these supports as well on my account i have silver wolf i have Pela, i have bronya i have um tinyu and I, like i said i do have ruin may so I will be able to make a you know solid team with Dr. Ratio, so that way you know I could tackle some more content that you know I'm running into. But yeah, man, I'm not having too much difficulty. My team is pretty stacked, but just having this other um, imaginary unit is going to help my account out a lot. So as you can see, the Dr. Ratio hyper carry, uh, you know, this is the ideal team. Now, of course, if you don't have Locha, of course, just you know pair that up with with a healer. 
but uh i don't have locha so that'd be i have a uh, bailu but uh here's his you know same thing just with silver wolf instead of payla this is him with topaz and um payla and like i said just a healer here of course then we have this with uh gwen Ifen. gwen Ifen will be doing you know debuffs and everything so that's why she's in that comp and then of course this is them with ruin may of course in a healer so it's just them swapped out with different debuffers and different um you know person that there so even on here as you see team yun is not on one of these but i'm pretty sure team yun can be used and you know some other comps if you don't have bronya i know everybody don't have bronya so that would probably help now if you summon for ruin may she's a universal support so she can fit in some of those areas so hopefully you have her but if you don't have ruin may you don't have bronya stick your team yun in there but yeah man i'm pretty sure you guys see a lot of people um you know maybe going for e1s or even uh you no know, light cones i would say do that on your you know on your own if you have the means if you do want to go for his light cone or should you go for his uh his e1 i would say the light cone is the best choice because like i said um you know i'm pretty sure you got this light cone on somebody else and you know you're going to be running into trying to swap it out and if you're running him and topaz on the same team Preferably, if you don't have Topaz like home, you do want to be uh, having this on her. And then, of course, he have his own like home or vice versa. If you already have Topaz like home and this like home is free. I mean, that's fine. You can put that on him. But like I said, everybody's situation is going to be different depending on your account. But if you're just someone who's a spender and you want to go E1 or like home, I would prefer you go to like home because you already got the character. The like home is going to uh, you know carry you better. Now, his E1 is not the best. A lot of times, they do try to get you with E2s for um, Eidolons. And um, that's how they try to get you. But yeah, here's are the talents. So, like I said, the Imaginary S1. Then, of course, we have the Ultimate. Then, of course, we have the uh, Technique. Like I said, it's the Speed. Then, of course, we have the Talents. So, like I said, this man is going to be doing a lot of things. So, like I said, uh, you'll, you'll see... Um, overall, what he can do as you continue, like I said, here's the traces, like I said, attack percent, crit rate, and defense. So it was attack. I knew about the crit rate and the defense. But yeah, here's the Eidolons, of course. Like I said, ain't much you're going to get from this. But the E2, this is more insane than that one. I don't, I'm an FTP, so I'm not going to go over Eidolons. But yeah, man, you know, you know summon it. Summon at your own, on your own means. Like, comment, subscribe. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.